we have to move all of our logistics ahead of the runners and the racers in order to get all set up with aid stations as well as move their gear, move their bikes, move their boats, move everything, keep moving in front of them. So it's like a race within a race. I have to race ahead with my crew, get everything going. And then I have to shut down behind me. I've got to sweep behind me um, and make sure that everything is taken care of, closed down there, everything's cleaned up. There's nobody else remaining there. Um, so it is definitely more of a challenge. I love um, the point to point um, format. I, most of my races are point to point. I like to load them on buses, don't let them know where I'm going to drop them off. And that's the surprise. And then drop them off somewhere and they got to work their way back to the finish line. Um, other than like a marathon, it's pretty straightforward. It's a start and a finish and all in the same spot. You go out and you run around the streets and you come right back. Logistics wise, it's just one location, one aid station, one transition area. But a um, an event race is, is always moving at that point to point. Um, for safety... Um, GPS tracking came around, um, good GPS tracking came around about six to eight years ago where it was reliable in areas that didn't have cell phone coverage. Um, and we've been using a tracking system ever since. So every team has a GPS tracker. We can track where they are. That really helped for sweeping. We didn't have to sweep the course. We didn't have to sweep behind and find, make sure everybody was off that section because we can see their tracking. Um, then, of course, we have tried our best to keep as much of the race off, you know, major roads. We try to keep them off road. So that then brings in the permit nightmare. If you're in one little city and you're going to run on eight different roads, you get a city permit, you get the police involved in closing off the roads. You're basically dealing with one permit. Um the C to C has 39 permits um, from one coast to the other. Got to get permission to go through parks, which are then in counties, which you have to have a county permit, which go through a greenway, which you have to have a greenway permit, which goes through Santos, which you have to have. So there's multiple, multiple permits that have to be issued. But over the period of time of 23 years, we've kind of got it mastered down each person that takes over the race is pretty much handed off the information to the next. And when I took over four years ago, I got a huge amount of help from the past race directors to be able to make sure that um, I had all the information needed to pull off that particular race.